Lek and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of October 2021. Can you guess what this is? You're right. Cavendish. Ta da! Lek, my smart wife, decided to make a shelf here where we had the freezers. So the freezer that is here right now will be moved outside in the kitchen area together with the refrigerator now has also been moved today and the other big freezer is full of mangoes this is a new setup looking forward to enjoy our new kitchen area and our new house setup what we also did we removed big parts of the the ceiling um, foil because we had problems with uh, rats and stuff, it was super dirty. We need to find a different uh, way to um, do this. Lex office here, we still have the foil, uh, you can see there. Front of the house, my area, my mosquito net. Tokai gecko nest there. There are 17 eggs with uh, geckos, also hatched geckos. Here in the front of the house, we have the bamboo dome taking shape with the passion fruit hanging down from from the dome it's very nice small bamboo bench where delivery can put their packages so the evil covid virus can be destroyed from the package before we pick up the package this is from the entrance to the vegan camp and here is like scooter tracks you can see it's very very wet been been very very wet we have like flash flood two very severe flash floods in this month. This area is not so bad because we are on um, higher grounds. We didn't experience much flash flood problems here but in uh, the other areas of the village yes they have uh, had some severe problems with uh, a lot of water but now it seems that the rains have stopped and the rain has gone on on vacation is traveling so we will see much less rain in the coming six months probably. Maybe we will only see very little rain the next coming uh, six months but let's see what's uh, what what happens but the forecasts show that rain the big rains have stopped now so we need to prepare for the dry season I enjoy that we have the rainy season with a lot of rain because we have stored a lot of rain in the ground and I also enjoy when the well-defined dry period comes in the well-defined dry period is very important for many things for example, the mangoes, the flowering of the mangoes is completely automatic and there's a lot of sunshine and dryness. The trees get under a lot of stress. They think that they're going to die because it's very dry. So they need to produce a lot of flowers and produce a lot of fruit. So if the tree dies because of the dry period, they will have a lot of children or like fruit. The seeds from the fruit that will plant new trees. So the whole environment is like working as it should. Yeah, that's how the trees protect their their lives or their their species the other good thing about the coming dry period is that the wood or the bamboo that is infected with some kind of growth of something will just be eliminated all the germs and everything will just get super dry and everything is good also the roof will dry out and I can start maintaining the roof more we had some problems with leaks on the roof, so it's now will be the time to do the maintenance so we will prepare for the next rain season that will start again. The big storms come already in April. So mid-April is like big storm season and then just continues from there and gets more and more severe. So and, and this year the peak of the rain came um, on September. When it rains on the mountains, all the rainwater from the mountains will go down to the river and the river will just be raised to a level that is completely crazy never seen this before it has been 10 years since it has been so severe so it's um, it's very intriguing to see that something that can happen so fast so quickly the river sometimes is like there's no no water there almost and then this was like overflowing enormous enormous river so it's like wow it's very, very big difference in, in what's going on sometimes here in Thailand. A couple of weeks ago this little lady got some puppies. She was very scared of us, but then she gave birth in our house. It was completely crazy. Woke me up four in the morning crying. 
I thought she was eating some papers or something, but no, she was getting ready to give birth. One, two, three, four, five. I think there are one girl and four boys. Papayas! And this beautiful thing is also a papaya, but it's a male papaya. Look how beautiful it is. The only problem is that it will not give fruit. So, in most cases, in Thailand, a male papaya will not survive. Let's see how long this papaya will survive. We already started to harvest these papayas. Sometimes we forget to check and then the birds get to the papaya before we do. Welcome to papaya season. Front gate still standing. And as you can see this bamboo is growing like crazy as always. The only problem with the chaya fence is that it grows like crazy and it uh, needs maintenance. But it's quite easy to maintain, you just cut it. The new land with a lot of bananas. And we're planting a lot of new trees and other plants. Here's an example of a date palm. And here we have two small malaco, two small papayas. I'm not sure they, if they will survive. Papayas don't really like to be moved. This is teakwood. Teakwood was already cut. And then it shoots out new stems, or what it's called. And it, the small ones we can cut and use as marker poles for the new trees. So we use those new um, small stems and for other purposes. But I'm not sure exactly how this teak wood, teak tree should be uh, maintained. If you have any tips, tips on teak wood maintenance, please let me know in the comments below. Teak wood stems all the way down there, teak wood. What I would expect was that if you cut the tree it will just go up from one, but it, it doesn't work that way. So maybe it needs to be replanted or something. Video. And I'm still amazed about this compost area where we have one, two papayas growing and a lot of bean. And here in the rice straw, old rice straw, we have a lot of uh, rice straw mushrooms growing. So we have been eating a lot of mushrooms from this straw lately. And this is the wild west now. The weeds and the beans have taken over. You can't even see that that one is a mango tree anymore. It's just a big bean party. One chili plant broke here and the other one is still there. Cassava plants, you can see that they're like going like that falling down. It's like all, almost broken there. Can you see this caterpillar? If you touch this with your bare hand or your bare skin, it can be anywhere in the long grass. It will itch you forever. But here underneath we have the durian growing. I just wanted to remove the most severe weed without getting any itchy stuff on my bare skin. And yes, the durian is still there, still alive. But something happened with the top. Somebody ate the top or something. In the banana fence protectors. I think I need to cut this banana so it doesn't take up all the energy from the durian. Oh, look at this. It's one out of three avocado project that has been that has survived along the banana protectors. So I hope this avocado will live. It has the right conditions. It has survived for a long time now and it's still being protected by the banana palms. Oh, oh, wrong! Banana plants are not palms. They are grass. They are banana plants. So it's being protected by banana plants. That's amazing. A glimpse into the new land from the other side. Ah yeah, and the mulberry dome is also doing some, some stuff, but the mulberries at this point are not like super ready. They're still, they're fruiting right now a little bit, but not, not the main season. So this is just like a snack and a little bit watery mulberries, but 
not so tasty but still fun to eat. Over there you can see a papaya tree. It gives like the long type of papayas. We use them for papaya salads when they're unripe. Very nice papaya salads. Look at these yellow flowers. They're huge. So here we have mulberries. But these yellow flowers here, they start flowering now and it, it's crazy. So as you can see they're taller than me and I'm one, 180, 181. Depends on who measures me. And on the other side of the bamboo dome we have pea flowers. Still have a lot of lime in the garden, include the Makrut lime, which is this one, which we use for washing the dishes and using in the washing machine for washing the clothes. It's very nice, but also Manao Pan and other type of local lime is also available around here. So it's very, very nice with a lot of lime. Life is so versatile and also lime is one of the secrets to make whole foods taste amazing. Go vegan, whole foods plant-based, go vegan. Yeah, as always.